nyingine tena ni wakaribishe katika session yetu ya leo. Leo tutajifunza operating principle of autoclave. Tutaangalia autoclave kwenye feed ya farmers inaweza ikakusaidia vipi. Kwa we have a learning task. Kuna task zetu ambazo mwisho wa hii session kila mtu awe na uwezo wa kuelewa. Lazima kwanza ujue meaning of autoclave. Cha pili ujue operating principle of autoclave machine cha tatu reason for autoclave na cha nne ujue advantage and disadvantage of autoclave lakini kabla hatujaendelea lazima tujue autoclave ili neno lime, limetokana between combination of two words kuna maneno mawili ambayo yameunganishwa pale kuna auto ambayo tunajua maana auto ni, ni it safe maana ni safe lakini tunaposema clave clave mara ni safe locking device maana hiyo ni kama safe lock device hasa tutaangalia kwamba hii device sasa inafanya kazi gani lakini vile vile tutaangalia operating principle of autoclave machine so start with our definitions tunajua autoclave autoclave is a, this involves sterilization of all complete remove of all microorganism to the surface kwa hii ina involve zaidi kuweza ku sterilize all microorganism naposema microorganism zote na involve bacteria virus and fungus haote inakuwa inawafanyia sterilizations mara kwamba wanakuwa complete remove hasa hii inapopalate inaoperate through the principle of steam kwa inapokuwa steam mara kwamba yanakuwa kwenye maji yamechemshwa katika temperature kubwa yanapokuwa na temperature kubwa yanakuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kukiri hawa bacteria virus and also can remove the pyrogens hasa kwa sababu sasa hii ina involve kwenye steam si shauri kwamba ukajifukize kwenye device e, kwa sababu siju kaona kama ni steam pale sasa hii nikajifukize kwa sababu na virus pale anakufa no this device involve for sterilizations so The autoclave involves sterilization of material using steam and the pressure dependable procedure for destructing of all forms of microbial life. Nimesema kwamba yenyewe ina involve zaidi kuweza ku destruct life nzima ya hawa microorganism. Kuna microorganism ambao wana tendency ya kuweza kutengeneza spores, wanakuwa na resistance kama Pseudomonas agnosas. Hasa hawa microorganisms wana ile tendency ya kuweza kufanya resistance. Asa kwa hii hapa mara kwamba wale spores wote wanaotengeneza spores vegetative wote inawe, inakuwa na uwezo wa kuweza kwa remove zaidi kwenye kwenye hii surface. Ukiangalia kwamba labda mtu anaweza akatengeneza kama different infusions kwamba mtu anatengeneza lingalactet by using reverse osmosis machine. Anapomaliza ile pale ile reverse osmosis pale kuna wakati kuna kuna sum of particles ambayo inaweza ikawa either bacteria zimepita pale kama zitakuwa zimepita mara kwamba hii device inaweza kufanya sterilization through the steam kwa inaweza kuweza ku clear how bacteria ambao wamepita ili kusudi ile ile solutions ambayo unaenda kuitengeneza kuiproduce isiwe na uwezo wa kuwa na contaminations So these are some established guidelines for effective use of steam sterilizers that could be autoclaves for the contamination of catch. Na posema the contamination of catch ama kwamba una remove even is the, the life of all microorganisms. Kwa hiyo catch ama like kwamba ni ile sehemu ambayo unaweza ukakuzia wadudu hasa na hii inaimvu kabisa kwamba complete una remove na zile kacha zake ambazo zinakuwa present for preparing sterile supplies kama nilisema kwamba unaandaa sterile preparations and safe operations of autoclave. Kwa hii device inakuwa inajioperate yenyewe katika temperature usika na katika pressure. Kwa obvious na operate through the steam. So theories this device why autoclave such as effective sterilizer. Tunasema kama effective sterilizers kwa sababu autoclave is a large pressure cooker it operate by using steam and the pressure as sterilizing agent. Kwa hii maraki inafanya kazi katika steam maraki kwamba lazima tuwe na pressure 
na temperature vinategemea hizo hivyo vitu ndio maana tukasema pressure is directly proportion to the temperature as when the volume remains constant tumesema ideally gas law kwa tunasema hiyo inaweza katusaidia kwamba pressure itakapoongezeka na temperature itaongezeka lakini volume ya hiyo device ita remain constant nimeweka maji nimeweka maji kwa ajili ya kufanya sterilization ya kitu hasa yale maji ambayo nimeweka yapo labda milliliters labda lita tatu hasa nimeweka lita tatu nategemea kwamba temperature pale iongezeke na pressure pale iongezeke lakini yale maji hayawezi kuongezeka yana remain constant ndio principle nzima ya kuweza kufanya hii autoclave machine tukasema pressure is direct proportion to the temperature hiyo nimeelezea kwamba kadri pressure itakavyoongezeka na temperature itaongezeka hasa kama itaongezeka na temperature ndio inakuwa effective zaidi kuweza kukiri hawa microbes ambao wapo kwenye preparation zetu tukasema high pressure enables steam to reach high temperatures thus increases it is heat content and killing the power kwa hiyo pressure takapoongezeka na temperature kaongezeka hii ndio itaku, itaku, itatupa ule uwezo wa kuweza kukiri hawa microbes ambao wapo kwenye preparations ambao tumeziandaa kwa hii 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 autoclave inafanya inakiri vipi sasa kwa tukasema hii most heat is through the climax by causing coagulation of essential protein kwa hii malaki inafanya coagulation of zile essential protein zile essential protein ambazo zinakuwa zina form through intramolecular hydrogen bond zinakuwa zimelink kama zile bond malaki kwamba umekuwa umelink chain asa hii malaki kwamba hii most heat malaki na inakata zile bond inapokata zile bond maana kwamba yule microorganism atakuwa hana uwezo wa kufanya chochote wala kuform any kind of disease kwa that's why he 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 autoclave tuna apply zaidi kwenye coagulations lakini tukasema kwamba this is a cause by accumulation of reversible damage of all metabolic function of organism kwa tunapobreak hizi intramolecular hydrogen bond ambazo zimelink protein kwake basi tunakuwa tumebreak even metabolic functions. Hasa kama umebreak metabolic function maana hawezi fanya kazi, hawezi kusababisha chochote kile na kama hawezi maana anadai. Basi tukasema is the proportion of the concentration of microorganism at a given time. Kwa ili kusudi tuweze kujua kwamba ile leti ya kuwa wale micro microbes inakuwa proportional zaidi na concentration ya microorganism katika muda husika ndio maana tukawa na na muda pale kwamba katika labda nimesema humu kuna presence of microorganism kadhaa asa ili kusudi niweze ku, kuweza ku hawa lazima nitumie muda fulani ili kusudi huo muda litakuwa effective zaidi kuweza kukiri hawa microbes so the time required to kill to kill is known population is specific at a time temperature equal to same this time kwa tuna kitu kingine nasema same this time ni ile time ambayo inahusika kuweza kukiri hawa microorganism kwa maana tunatumia mna gani kuweza kukiri hawa microbes tukapata different relations ambayo tukasema kwamba hizi autoclave zina operate on a time temperature relationship katika time na temperature relationship kwamba katika muda lazima tuangalie muda afu lazima tuangalie temperature ndio inakuwa na uwezo wa kukiri microbes increase the temperature na decrease the same this time vya vile kama tuta lower temperature tuta increase same this time so there is standard pressure that we are going to see kwa kuna standard pressure ambazo zina zinatumika pale kuweza kukiri hawa microbes hizo ni sum of standard pressure ambazo zimekuwa calculated kuweza kukiri hao microbes tukasema time is critical as the cycle time will revise the composition of load it is important to determine the appropriate time requirement sum is not people assume that time of settlement is sufficient however this often proved to be very costful mistake kwa hii device tunapokuwa tunayo paleti lazima tuweze kujua muda sahihi wa kuweza kukiri hawa 
microbes mtu anaweza kuambia kwamba ehe operating principle ya hii device tunaweza tukasemaje unasema tu kwamba either when water is heated in a closed container kwa hiyo labda una heat maji katika closed container saturated steam ile saturated steam ambayo may produce ndio iwe na uwezo wa kukill hao microbes tukasema kwamba pressure is the proportion to the temperature kama temperature itaongezeka bas na pressure itaongezeka na kama na pressure itaongezeka killing power ya hao microbes itaongezeka tukasema pressure ambayo inakuwa responsible kuweza kukili hawa microbes tukasuggest tuka kwa katika 15 15 pound of pressure ina uwezo zaidi wa kuweza kukili hawa microbes katika temperature ya 121 degree of Celsius kwa unapokuwa na temperature kwenye 121 degree of Celsius na kwenye pressure ya 15 pounds of power kwa ina uwezo zaidi wa kuweza kukili hawa microbes E, lakini nimekupa precaution sio kwamba tutumie hiyo temperature kuweza kujifukiza hiyo 121 degree of Celsius because this is a device for sterilizations ile most heat ambayo tumekuwa tumeipata ina ko, ina zile cell protein of microorganisms na ina kill the living entities ambao ni living entities zinaweza kawa hata zile spores ambazo zinaweza kaform na zile saturated steam zinakuwa efficient zaidi kuweza ku destroy microorganisms na hizi kawa ina destroy katika latent heat ambao tunasema latent heat heat absorbed by body without changing in temperature temperature inabaki pale pale lakini heat inaongezeka kuweza kukili hao microorganisms kuna volumes ambao unaweza kaangalia ndio maana nasemaje unaposterize lazima angalie volumes lazima angalie time vile lazima angalie microbial loads hasa volume hapa inafanya kazi gani umuhimu wake wa hii volume tuweze ku the high the volumes the more time is needed for sterilizations kama hivyo sema kwamba kadri volume inapokuwa kubwa maana na muda utakuwa ni mkubwa zaidi ili kusudi uweze kufanya sterilizations kwa ufupi tu kwamba uwezo uwezo kaanza kwamba mtu ana, anachemsha maji katika mita tano alafu anachemsha maji katika lita tano eti kwamba zote zinachemka kwa wakati mmoja hicho kitu hakipo ndio maana nasema time na yenyewe ina vali za difa kwamba volume ni kubwa muda utakaotumika lazima uwe mkubwa ili kusudi yale maji yapate heat ya kutosha kuweza kusterilize hao microorganisms The volume of liquid per container is more important considerations hiyo nimemaliza microbial load inakuaje sasa load mag- idadi ya microbes contaminated items take longer to sterilize than clean items items ambayo inakuwa na more concentrated yani inakuwa contaminated na microorganisms kwa wengi kuwezo ukasema una sterilize faster kuliko kitu ambayo kina micro- microorganism wachache hata dawa ziko hivyo hivyo ndio kwa mtu kazidiwa atatumia dawa dozi kubwa kuliko mtu ambaye hajazidiwa. Kwa hiyo ni kama t- kama ways ya kuweza kuelewa hapa na chongelea ni nini. Kwamba mtu anapewa dozi kubwa kwa sababu ya number of microbes, lakini mtu anapewa dozi ndogo kulingana na number of microbes. Una microbes wachache afu napewa dozi kubwa, madawa mengi. Sasa inakuwa kama haiwezi kusaidia chochote. Otherwise taenda kuathiri zaidi kwenye metabolism ya hizo dawa kwenye liver. Consequent water sterilizes faster than yeast extract contain media which contain lot of microbes. The media left room temperature for while before autoclaves. Kwa asimia kubwa tunapoanza hizi sterilizations lazima tuangalie zaidi kwenye time, lazima uangalie kwenye volumes, lazima uangalie kwenye microbial loads. Some guidelines kuna guideline ambazo zime watu wamezifanyia analysis wakapitisha ni guideline ambayo unaweza kusifanyia wakati wa sterilizations kwamba katika device ambayo inakuwa na volume kwamba milita 75 mpaka 200 aliashumi ili kusudi uweze ku clear microbes wote lazima unatumia kama dakika 20 lakini kwenye device ambayo ina 200 mpaka 500 hapo unatumia dakika 25 inanusulita mpaka lita moja natumia nusu saa 
Ezu na lita moja mpaka lita moja na nusu tatumia dakika 35 lita moja na nusu mpaka lita mbili natumia dakika 40 kwa kama ilivyo state kwamba volume itakapokuwa inaongezeka similar na muda wa kuweza ku sterilize hao microbes lazima uongezeke kama kama volume inakuwa ni ndogo basi na muda utakaotumika ni mdogo kwa hiyo hiyo ndio inakuwa hivyo reason of the autoclave umuhimu wa hii kwamba kwa nini tunafanya hizi autoclave tunafanya tuweze ku prepare material for bat, pathological cell culture kama tumeangalia kwamba zile culture zetu tunazifanyia decontaminant kwamba kama test tube device na kuwa sterilized kama pipette without contaminations na kuwa safe prepare element used for taking samples kwa hiyo na prepare element za kuweza ku take sample kama hizo needles tube na containers sterilize contaminated material kwa hiyo inatusaidia kuweza ku sterilize hao contaminated materials lakini tunaangalia advantage ya autoclave advantage moja wapo ya hii autoclave ni rapid and effective kwa wenyewe ni ya haraka na inakuwa ni effective kwa hiyo wewe umeweka kitu katika milita mia tano device uweze ku sterilize kwa hiyo lazima kitu kitachemka haraka kwa sababu kinajiendesha chenyewe ninasema auto means safe clave maki yenyewe yenyewe patina pa kwenye temperature usika na kwenye pressure usiki na ina stop baada ya kuclear kwamba whom done microbes wameisha kwa hiyo ina stop yenyewe effective for sterilizing both surgical packs and tower packs kwa hiyo inatumika zaidi kuweza ku sterilize hizo surgical packs and tower packs lakini tumeweza kusema kila kitu kinakuwa na faida na hasara yake moja wapo ya disadvantage ya item ambazo ziko sensitive to heat cannot be sterilized. Kwa hata kama utakiwekea pale chenyewe kiko sensitive na heat hakiwezi ku undergo sterilizations. So it tend to corrode carbon steel bar and instrument. Kwa hiyo hii ina uwezo wa wa kuweza kufanya fire hizo corrode kwenye carbon steel. Kwa hii ni end of our presentation. Nashukuru sana kwa kuweza kunisikiliza.